Hello, and welcome to Shift. Shift is the leading desktop workstation for people who are tired of switching between multiple Gmail, Calendar, and Drive accounts, plus web apps and extensions. With Shift, you can say goodbye to the logging in, logging out, multiple browser tab nightmare. We built Shift to help streamline your work and get stuff done in one beautiful place. In this video, we will guide you through setup and onboarding to help familiarize you with Shift. Then, we will take a deep dive into the Google OAuth grant process, including our usage of sensitive and restricted scopes within Shift's functionality. We are thrilled that Google's OAuth has become the industry standard as the most trusted authentication protocol. The OAuth authentication authorizes Shift locally to access your emails and download the application to your local computer. An identity token is stored against your Shift account in the cloud, but the token required to access your emails is only stored locally. Shift can handle your mail privately and locally without any risk that anyone, anywhere, other than you, can gain access to your information, data, or emails. Let's get started by walking you through the Shift onboarding flow and the details of each scope. Once Shift has been downloaded on your desktop computer, you will need to add your main email account. Next, you will be prompted to enter your password for this account. From here, you will arrive at the Google Authentication Permissions page. These are the permissions we request. First, we ask to view your email messages and settings. Shift needs the email scope to verify your email address and create your account on our servers. This is the narrowest scope available that provides this information. Shift uses the profile scope to fetch your account name and image. This is needed to distinguish different accounts in the application. For example, most of our users manage at least one work-related Gmail account and one personal account. This is the narrowest scope available that provides this information. Shift uses the gmail.read-only scope to fetch your most recent emails. This is needed to present notifications and display a count of unread messages. This is a core function of Shift, as notification management is a pain point for many of our customers. This is also the narrowest scope available that provides this information. In the gmail.send second scope, we ask to send email on your behalf. Shift uses the gmail.send scope to send email to share Shift with people you choose at your request only. This is the narrowest scope available that permits sending email on your behalf. Please note that this scope is only used if you decide to share your unique referral link with your personal contacts from right inside the Shift user interface. If you decide not to use our referral program to share Shift with friends, this scope does not apply to you in any way. Shift also requests to see and download all your Google Drive files. Shift needs the drive.read-only scope to find Google Drive files that match your inputs when you use Shift's cross-account search feature. Again, this is the narrowest scope available to provide us with this information. The fourth request is to see and download your contacts. Shift uses the contacts.read-only scope to read your contacts. This is needed to populate suggested contacts if you decide to share your unique referral link with your personal contacts from our referral page within Shift. If you decide not to use our referral program to share Shift with friends, this scope does not apply to you in any way. This is the narrowest scope available that provides this information. Finally, Shift requests to view your calendars. Shift uses the calendar.read-only scope to read entries from your calendar. This is required to provide notifications about upcoming events and to find events that match your inputs when you use Shift's cross-account search feature. This is the narrowest scope available that provides this information. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and we encourage you to reach out to us at any time at hello at tryshift.com with any questions or comments. Thank you.